This foot forward, and then just turn, and then do that. Oh, like this? Uh-huh, exactly. Because okay. you need the bottom of your foot to sort of like slide on it. Like that? Right, exactly. Okay. Or if you want to take a step forward, you can do like, then one, and then two. Uh, this is Welcome to the CTM Recap. Uh, I'm getting loose. It's called dynamic stretching here because later I'm going to make good on my promise to do the bottle cap challenge and I'm going to be successful if I can catch my breath. Uh, I made a great report uh, on border conditions uh, and we have a really powerful and uh, exclusive to CTM interview with a um, the incoming president of the American Academy of Pediatrics. She had drawings from children inside these facilities on the border and she interpreted them. Uh, it, it's doesn't take an expert actually to interpret what these drawings mean. It's powerful. You should take a look. On the only on CTM piece about uh, a lawsuit filed overnight suing gun makers for the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. That was in Las Vegas. The family of uh, one of the young women who died there uh, has a really novel argument. Leon Castro, 2020 presidential candidate, former housing secretary in the Obama administration. He joined us at, in Studio 57 at the table. He talked about who he could work with in a future Democratic administration, among other things. That was a great interview. <laughs> Are you going to edit this in? I don't know where to show my bottom, but here we go. <laughs> a lot more stretching than you can think, right? This is a lot looser than you thought. Um, meatless burgers. Now, I've never really understood meatless burgers. I don't know why you would take plants and make it look like animal, because you never take animal and make it look like plants. No one kills a cow and then carves the meat into broccoli florets. So why do we go that way? and not the other way. It's a mystery. Anyway, it's a good conversation. Um, also off, off camera, I asked Tara Narula if uh, french fries are a vegetable, and she said, oh, Tony, <laughs> no. And the question is, is shark attack risks, the, the, is a shark attack the new normal there in Cape Cod? Uh, the short answer is kind of no. You have a better chance, as we say in the tag, of being struck by lightning or dying on the way to the beach than actually getting attacked by a shark. Youth Poet Laureate of the U.S. Her name is Amanda Gorman. She is a Harvard student and she can write and she can also perform. Um, check it out. And that is the recap. So without further ado, other than some more stretching and then some deep breathing exercises and then some concentration exercises, I, before the full legacy of CBS News here in the hallway of heroes, will kick the cap off of a bottle. Is this for charity? This is just for a show, right? Okay, here it is. Bragging rights. For bragging rights? One, two, three. three. What should we do now? <laughs> I'm three. Oh! <laughs> All right, you do it again. Go back. <laughs> One, two. Two, and they're practicing. But one take. Okay, okay go. Wait. No, I will She's doing this in heels, ladies and gentlemen. Right? I don't know why I'm talking. This isn't slow mo, isn't it? I feel so much pride that it was better than. It was much better. I will admit it was much better. No, but you know, you're said splash though. That was kind of cool. Splash is not really what you're going for. You're going for a clean. <laughs>